This video content is not intended for children. Weighted bobber, egg sinker, big hooks, size one maybe. You ain't gonna catch with that. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. I'm over here at the log to see if we can get any fish on night crawlers. The fishing's been tough this winter, so I'm sticking to live bait. We're gonna fish deep, we're gonna fish small. Let's see if we can catch anything at all. That rhymes. So here's my rig. I got a size eight bait holder. I got a small pinch on sinker. I got a small weighted float up there about four and a half, five feet deep. Let's get a piece of night crawler on here. Cast out here towards this log. See if we can find a fish. If you look back in my video history, you can see how long I've been using the same tub of worms. It's a long time, at least a few weeks. The secret to keeping them alive is to just put the unused night crawlers in your refrigerator. Make sure they're closed. You don't want the worms crawling around in your fridge, but they'll keep for weeks, maybe even months. All right, let's get started here. I'm not sure what we'll catch, if anything, down here by the log. Is that a fish? No, the water is just kind of, the water is definitely drifting this way to the left. Let's try out there closer to the tree. I'm not letting it sit there very long, maybe 30 seconds. Then I'm recasting because I'm looking for the fish. Since my bait is drifting this way, I don't really want it to drift too far away from this log. If there are fish here, that's where they'll be concentrated. I'm hoping to catch some bluegill some sunfish, if I get lucky, maybe a crappie or a small bass. But given these conditions and how cold and dead everything looks, I'll be happy to catch anything. So far in the first few casts, nothing. Let's see if I can get closer to the tree. There we go. I gotta be cautious about getting snagged this is a very snaggy spot because there are, oh, I had a bite. There are a lot of limbs under the water that I can get snagged on. Well, that cast sucked. So yeah, I had a bite over there in the middle, a really small bite, but it was a bite. Maybe I should wait for something to take it under. Maybe not, I don't know. Notice it's drifting to the right now. Oh, fish on. Maybe that's why. Got a dinky little bluegill here. Let's see if we can get a look at him. Look at that, first fish of the day. Three and a half, four inch bluegill. I really hope I can find something bigger than this. This is Craig from Fishing with Lord Almighty, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Might even have to set it a little bit deeper. But then I run the risk of snagging more branches. It's a fine, it's a juggling act. There's a nibble. Got him, another small fish. Hopefully I can get through a few of these small ones and then find a nice big one down there. 
We'll see. Slightly larger, right? Four and a half incher maybe. Alright, if there's small bluegill, hopefully there are some large bluegill around as well. Let's try over here to the right. Maybe we can get lucky and not get snagged. There's a bite. Oh, missed him. Stole my bait too, dang it. Let's get a new worm on there. So yes, it's winter. Yes, it's kind of cold, but you could still take your kids out float fishing right now to catch some bluegill. All you need is a spot like this. We got the main lake over here. We got this little channel coming in with a log in the water. Great spot to try. Let's see if we can get another fish. There's a nibble. Take it under. Got that one. Feels a bit better. There we go. We're getting a little bigger. Little bigger. Easy. There we go. We're up to about a six inch bluegill here. A little bit nicer than those last few. Still not very big though. There we go. Let's get him in the light peeking through the trees. Good looking fish, best one so far. Let's keep going. I've got a feeling there are more fish down here. Take it under. I might be snagged on something. There we go, got him. Not snag, just a very slow, fickle bite. Here we are, another five inch bluegill maybe. I'm catching them. Come on, let's get a big one. My bobber's sitting funny, might be snagged or tangled. There we go, it turned right side up. The weight of the split shot must have straightened the line. Is that going under? No. Fish. Oh, it's not a fish, it's a snag. It's a snag and a fish. Oh man, I'm gonna let him take it for a second. I could have swore I felt the fish pull. Oh, he is snagged in something. I'm gonna let him swim for a minute. Maybe he can get out of there. Dang it. See him? He's taking off with it. Nope, snagged. Damn it, here we go. Come on. It feels like it wants to give. I mean, it's something bouncy and kind of rubbery. Well, I got my, got my split shot back and I got the bobber back, so that's good. All I lost was the hook. Let's tie a new hook on here. So here's the exact hook I'm using. Eagle Claw Bait Holder, size eight teamed up with DMF Canadian Nightcrawlers. And I'm catching fish out here in the winter and it's cold, but we're gonna keep going. I need to tie on a new hook. I'm Steve from Bass and Grass YouTube channel and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Since I had to tie a new hook on, I also had to raise my bobber, right? Since I used up a foot of line on the bottom, with it breaking off and tying on the new one. I also raised my bobber about a foot just to try and make up the difference. Let's get some more worm on here. So yeah, 
if you just want to get out of the house and go fishing, bluegills provide some entertainment. Or maybe you're looking for bait. Maybe you want to go catfishing or fish for some bigger predators. Bluegill fishing is also good for that because you can catch bait. If the bluegills are big enough, you could even catch dinner by doing this. Thought I had a bite there. All sorts of positives to bluegill fishing. And it's great for kids. This video content is not intended for children. It's intended for adults who might want to teach their children how to fish. Come on, let's get another one. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to cast over here by the log and I don't wanna get snagged again. Yeah, there we go, that looks like a good spot. Every once in a while I give it a little bit of a twitch just to get that worm to switch directions. Sometimes that can trigger a bite or at least get a fish to come over and look at it. Yeah, I'm afraid I'm going to have to cast back into the danger zone. I just don't want to get snagged. Let's do it. It's time to play with some fire. We're casting towards the middle again. Fingers crossed I don't get a snag. I'm right in that area though. There's a nibble. There's a bite. Oh, do I got him? I do. He's a really small one, I think. Yeah, just a little dinky guy. Got him over there in the snag zone. Yeah, a little three and a half, four incher here. There's a bite. Got him. This one feels a bit better. Not a giant by any means though. Head shaker. This might be the biggest fish of the day so far. Yeah, here we have about a six inch bluegill. Maybe a little larger actually, close to seven. Good looking fish. I'm guessing that's the biggest one of the day. Let's keep going. Well, jumped right out of my hands too. There he goes. Let's keep going. There's a nibble. Did I get him? I think so. Just another little dinky guy. A lot of these small bluegill down there. Like I said, they'd be good if you were harvesting bait. For me, it's just fun to pass the time. This one's starting to get some brown spots on his tail. Hey everybody, this is Kevin from Palmetto Cats and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Now that's realistic come on let's get a few more big ones there's a bite got him another little guy Another good bait sized bluegill here. Yeah, this one's about, you know, five incher if you'll ever lay down flat.
I really am surprised I haven't got anything over eight inches yet. I'm also surprised I haven't got a red ear or a long ear. Just cookie cutter bluegill so far. Snag Central. Got him. It's not very big though. Yeah, another five inch bluegill. I want something bigger. Yikes. That is right by the log. There's a bite. Got him. Doesn't feel very big, but a little bit larger than some of them, I suppose. Another cookie cutter bluegill. Five incher. Maybe four and a half. There's a bite. Take it. Got him. Yeah, another six incher here. Still not quite what I'm looking for. Let's try in close. That cast is about, I don't know, 15 feet out there in front of me. Got him. Oh, this might be a bigger one. Yeah, a little bit better anyway. Seven incher maybe. Getting close anyway. Hey, it's Josh from the One Ton Fishing Club. Hi, it's Jared from One Ton Fishing Club. Hey, what's up? This is Kyle from One Ton Fishing Club. Hey, this is Art from One Ton Fishing Club. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Let's keep trying up close. Maybe that's where the bigger fish are. Got him. Small one. Five or six incher here. Still though, catching bluegill after bluegill. I've been here about 40 minutes. I don't know how many I've caught, but it's a bunch. Just gonna quickly flip it back out there. Oh, dang it. Stole my bait. All right, I got one more piece of the night crawler from this trip. It's a little bit, it's a fatter piece here, the head piece. Once this is gone, the trip is over. Let's see if we can get a couple more. Had a bite. Might be little ones. But it sure beats risking getting snagged way out there. Did I get him? Sure did. Another four incher. Yeah, just a little guy. Look at that boat out there. That looks like the uh, game warden. Another little bluegill right here. Need 
Yep, dinky little four incher. One after the other. We're going back out there by the log. Come on, don't get snagged. Eight incher, come on. Eight incher, where are you? Not an eight incher. Uh, five incher. Still good bait size. Got about five minutes left. We'll see how many fish I catch in an hour. Got him. That's a better fish. Oh yeah. This one's up there in the seven inch range. There's one of the better bluegill today. Seven inches. Yeah, good one. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, there goes my worm. That's it, I'm out of here. This is Nathan from NS Pellets and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. So yeah, that's all the time I have for today, but I still think I did all right. With some good old night crawlers, I was able to catch I'm guessing between 12 to 15 bluegill in about an hour. Just goes to show you can get some cheapy hooks, some cheapy bobbers, and some worms. And you and your kids can get out there and catch some bluegill, even though it's winter. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.